Hey guys, um, Rowan Time HD here. Welcome to a new show that I'm thinking of doing. It's called Quick Quips. So basically, we're just gonna be like, it's not gonna be like Ticket Tuesdays where it's like a full fledged review. It's gonna be like little three, four minute things. And today, we watched Steven Seagal is Hard to Kill. In 1990? 1990. Uh, Steven Seagal action film. Steven Seagal is hard to kill. Take that to the bank. I thought, like a little comment, Steven Seagal, I feel like in every movie, this like is relevant to every single movie that he is in, he sounds clueless in every single movie he's in like every line of dialogue sounds like he has no idea what the fuck is going on even though he cl he should like i don't think he's a very good actor right but he's just funny he's c he's kind of crazy too he's a crazy guy <laughs> but basically um yeah this movie was decent I mean, it was fun, for sure. And, I, like, also, if you plan on watching this movie, I don't know why, but if you plan on watching this movie, um, uh, be prepared for some music jump scares because the the movie will just have a normal scene of two characters talking, and then it'll be like, -er 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 for, like, five seconds, and then it'll be back to two characters talking. Like, I have... It'll, like, cut to a random building, and... Like a, with a like a super fucking loud uh, guitar riff, and then it'll then it'll go back to the main characters, and then like it was just it was fun, but like oh yeah the fight scenes, I feel like those are the only reasons to watch these movies really are the fight scenes, and I thought they were pretty good pretty solid. Um... I mean, I didn't really find much wrong with them, except they were kind of a little bit of the same thing with a bit of a different set every time, except for the ending, I guess. I feel like Steven Seagal just... I think he thinks he's the coolest person on the fucking planet. Like, I just think that's... Like, just the way he acts in this movie, I feel like that's just what he thinks, right? Because even in, not even, like, his, that's just not his character. That's, like, real life. Like, he thinks he's the best person ever. This movie, I think, is fun. Kind of incoherent. It's kind of, it's stupid. It, it's definitely stupid. Because it's a Steven Seagal movie. Um, I think it's enjoyable at its, at the surface level. And it's, um, it just... I think uh, the last thing I can really think of it, it's like an embodiment of like shitty 80s action movies, even though it's not in the 80s, but it's 1990, so it still pretty much is the 80s. I would say if it would like, it kind of depends on the person you ask if you ask, is it worth watching, right? It's kind of a hard thing to say because like it really depends on if you like stupid brainless action films this is for you if you want something of value just stay away from steven seagal's entire filmography i think the standout moments of the movie were like when he just broke people's fucking like arms and their hands and he would break their legs and just throw them through like two sets of glass and like another thing is that he would constantly just cause collateral damage and it seems like he would do it on purpose like there was a part where they ran into the into chinatown and he just threw a guy into a restaurant and just kept throwing him through everything and just destroying the restaurant it was funny i don't think it was trying to be funny but it was funny so if you like to laugh at steven seagal this is a good movie i would probably give it a like on a real movie standards i'd probably give it like a like five on a on like an ironic thing like just to watch it to laugh at it i'd probably give it like a maybe like a light seven the steven seagal rating i think it's an eight to his other movies and i haven't watched his newer ones yet for a good reason because he's a fat dude and i 
I do not have high hopes for those ones, but I'm going to get to them eventually. Thanks for joining us on our first episode of Quick Quips with Steven Seagal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe this is a thing? No. No. I can't. That wasn't the time. Now is the time.